front being a Dissian Multi Finder. Basically, this is a satellite finder, it's a terrestrial finder, and it's also a 4 megapixel hybrid CCT uh, camera. And to be specific, it supports 960H, TBI, CBI, and AHD. Okay, it's a super piece of kit, it's available with free delivery. Um, and it's from a Dissian who designed this product from beginning to end. Super, super product. Um, so what we have here is we have the outer box that comes in and inside of that, this is the transportation box we have it. So if we want to come along, we have a user manual inside, put the meter inside, and then there's the pouch for each of the different component parts go inside it. And inside of that then, uh, we have this transportation thing here, which we'd normally leave on side of here. It's waterproof in the front. It has all the inputs on the top. And what I'm going to do is open it up here, just so you can demonstrate. I'm going to turn it on at this point here, and just move this out of the way. And what it has here is, is all the connections here on top. So basically, we have our power on and off here. We have the power input here. So we'd use our charger here, either the mains charger that comes with or also the car charger, which you can see here. Uh, we have our terrestrial satellite, our terrestrial input, and our satellite input here. So they're the two first inputs we'd be using it for two main uses of it. Uh, what we have then as well is we have a LAN connection here, so we can put it onto the network, and we have a CA card reader here. So if we had encrypted channels that we're working with, we can work with it there. Um, in terms of we have a HDMI input and output on it here. The significance of the HDMI input is simply that we can use this actually as a television, so we can take an input into it and display stuff directly off it. Um, and we have the HDMI output, so normally we'd be outputting here to something else if we wanted it. So then what we have is an RS-485 connection. So this part here is really we're getting into um, the CCTV part of here. So we have the connection there and we can control the PTZ from it. Uh, then for instance, we would have um, just, there's an AV cable, if you weren't using HDMI, you can use this. Um, and there's an RS-485, or a two, um, two, eight, a two I think that's. And uh, the, the significance of that really is, is that if you came along and you had screwed up the firmware on, you could push it back onto a PPCC, but nobody uses these anymore. Uh, we have the BNC out and the BNC in, so coming from the camera. And then what we have at this point is we have to power out, um, power, the ability to power a camera directly for it. Very, very handy, so we can independently test cameras on it and find out what type of technology the camera is using if we're not sure. And then finally we have the USB port here on it. Um, we have a remote control that comes in as well, rarely used, but you can use it because it once again you can reflect on a certain level. It's like a TV or a, a data, a portable um, media player as well. And then we have the BNC cable and the power cable, which I'll discuss later on in relation to the actual camera itself. So, what we have here is the main uh, thing come up. It's, it'll come out of the pack somewhat powered like this. And if we wanted to bring up the main menu here, We'll see here that we have, um, it, it defaults onto the satellite terrestrial one here. So if we've just got a satellite feed here, let's say, and come along, and screw this directly into the top. Feed it in here. And what I could do here is, I could just go with the OK button. Um, on the top part here, we've all the satellites. We can come along and identify the satellite, etc. And what we'll have is the satellite list here, and we'll also have the transponder list down below. It gives signal levels, all the rest of it on it. Um, that's very good. And we can have settings on it, have it beep when it's finding the signal, etc. like that. Um, if we exit back out of there, which is here, we can go back down to the lower part. Now we'll have further videos in the series that cover the whole terrestrial end of it, okay? Um, um, and that part will be very, very similar to previous versions of this that came without the CCTV features on it. Okay, if we exit back out all the way, we can come over here, we have a spectrum analyzer, which can be very handy for the higher end work on it. We have TV here, we can set up certain TV channels on it, so it's set up just to play back, like a TV, um, portable TV set effectively. And what we have there is we have the multimedia setting on it. So we actually could insert a, a movie files here via USB stick and actually use this as a portable um, sort of a, a movie device if we wanted it. Um, so just exit out there and we'll arrow down. We can use this here as app. We can go on and we can look at YouTube. We can do all that type of stuff here, uh, weather app. Um, what we have there is system settings. That can be handy. We can change all types of things in terms of uh, the language, in terms of um, the, the beeping noises when we find satellites, etc. Okay. We can come over here. There's an audio visual setup here. And then we'll just get into what's the newest feature on it. And I suppose this is really what sets it apart from all the competitor products on the market. The fact that it is a, um, excuse me, um, 
um, and CCTV functionality on it. So what I might do at this point is we might just do a little bit of demonstration in relation to that. I'm just going to disconnect that. I'm going to bring up this hybrid one megapixel camera that we have here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to power it directly off of the one volt output on it. I'll push this into the power input here. I'm going to have a BNC connection, run it across, and we'll connect this into the camera thing here. And what we have here is we just go OK, and then we just go OK again. So it comes along and has to say to itself, what technology is this? Because often you might have camera on the system, particularly if you're testing, you have no idea. It's trying one technology, it's not that. It's flicking over and saying, it's AHD and 720p, so we know it's a one megapixel camera. Okay? So if we come along here, this is a hybrid camera, I can just come along and I can just put it into a different mode here. We'll say, just push it down. Click it over to a new technology, comes along, it doesn't know what it is, it's looking through, it's flicking through the different options and saying, what is this feed here? And now it's telling me it's CVI, and once again it's seeing the 720p, okay? So it's really, really simple for identification and all the rest of it. The fact you can add a PTZ onto it here, do the controlling of it, all the rest of it here. Like it's just exactly what people in the CCTV industry wanted. And people who are doing the jump would say from doing satellite to terrestrial and going into the CCTV, it's absolutely fantastic. And the price point that comes in on the key thing is to understand the business model of this unit. They put an enormous amount into research and development. Most guys are bringing electronic products onto the market or just going into China, they're seeing what guys are offering. And what they're finding is, that everybody else is offering exactly the same thing, sort of race to the bottom. What this can do is design products like this from beginning to end. So a lot of the hybrid products that are on the market already were all designed by Edisian here in Europe, who target mainly the German and Dutch sort of Benelux countries markets that are they're really trying to create premium products that um, will have great traction in the marketplace. So what they do then is they will churn out enormous quantities from day one because of a huge customer base and all the tooling, molding, design costs drop off to almost nothing so they can enter the marketplace hugely competitive prices. And that's exactly what they've done on this one here. Any other competitor or guy selling this in the market probably looking for two, three times the price. But at this you know they're going to hit volumes and that's how they can do it so good. Really, really delighted with this product. Nobody else on the market, no other brand has it. And because it's a patented one by Edisian, nobody else is going to have it for a long time. So that's it anyway, an overview the Edisian Multifinder. It's a satellite terrestrial 4 megapixel hybrid CCTV. Brilliant.